Welcome to the Gigamesh video tutorial number 9. In this video we will virtually unpack an intact clay envelope acquired with computed tomography to obtain the tablet on the inside. The object is from the Deleger Böhl collection Nino Leiden. The micro CT was created at the TU Delft. In order to be processed in Gigamesh, a 3D mesh was extracted from the volume data. In Mesopotamia, important documents like contracts were enclosed by an envelope made from clay like the tablet 185. By using view mesh plane as clipping plane, we can take a look inside the object. If necessary, use View Mesh Plane Flip to hide the mesh on the other side of the plane. There is a small hollow area between the surfaces of the inner tablet and the envelope. On the outside, there is a summary of the tablet's content, as well as shallow imprints from a cylinder seal. We use the labeling function to remove the outer surface. Click Labeling All Vertices Select m words to set a label number for each connected component of the model. Hold CTRL and click the mesh to view the label number of the selected area in the left sidebar or press I for more information about the selected vertex. Use select vertices by value type index vertices label number to select all vertices with a specific label number. Use edit remove cell m words to delete them. Now we see the inner surface of the envelope, surrounded by voids. Since this is the back side of the surface, the mesh is rendered in red. To flip the surface, click Edit Faces Invert Orientation. Removing the inner surface of the envelope is more difficult. Labeling does not work, because the inner surface of the envelope and the tablet are one large connected component. To separate the surface, we have to compute the ambient occlusion related to the sky view factor. The result is the amount of ambient light reading each vertex, which is stored as function value. As a result, the exposed outer vertices obtain a high function value, while most of the inner tablet has a function value of zero. Due to holes, the value can also be slightly above zero. Computing ambient occlusion may take a while. The function value is represented from low to high by a black-white color ramp. Press CTRL and click on the surface to display the function value of the selected vertex in the left sidebar. The black spots are holes in the model showing a low function value in the inside. Click Select Vertices Cell M Words Funk Value to select all vertices with a higher function value than a given number. Check the value of a few points before this step to make an educated guess. A good way is to repeat this step and select more vertices each iteration. All vertices with a function value higher than 50 are selected now, which should exclude the enclosed tablet. After removing them, only the inner tablet as well as some unconnected components remain. The orientation of the face has to be flipped again, since they face inside now. Solid color rendering and proper lightning unveil the virtually unpacked clay tablet.
The unconnected components can easily be removed with a clean mesh button. In this case, I don't use the automatic mesh polishing button, since closed holes could be misleading when reading the text. The walls of some inclusions are connected to the tablet. They need to be cut away manually if necessary. The result is a quite complete model of the inner tablet. It is now readable for the first time since it was packed in its still intact envelope in ancient Mesopotamia. For further improvements of the 3D data, see our first tutorial. Thank you for watching.